Nazism, a toxic ideology that emerged in the early 20th century, rooted in a combination of extreme nationalism, racism, and anti-Semitism. If you weren't satisfied with your dose of fascism, you could go to Germany in the 1920s and embrace an ideology that would keep you in kindergarten forever, allowing you to say, I am better than you. Short for National Socialists, the adherents of the Nazi movement used the name to gain street cred and access to socialist voters so they could sway them toward this new blend of fascism. The head of this movement, Adolf Hitler, a painter whose greatest masterpiece was getting rejected by art school, decided that if he couldn't make a name with a brush, he'd try with a swastika instead. Believing he was a philosophical genius, he saw himself up there with Immanuel Kant in the 18th century and Friedrich Nietzsche, even though his grasp of German philosophy was shallow and inconsistent. At its core, Nazism posited the superiority of the so-called Aryan race, primarily identified as North Europeans, who were deemed entitled to dominate other races. This ideology framed Jews as an anti-race, portraying them as dangerous and inhuman, often likened to parasites or devils, which justified extreme measures against them, culminating in the World War II and the Holocaust. They exploited the eugenics movement in Germany to justify its racist worldview and implement brutal policies of racial exclusion and extermination. Their attempt to create a master race resulted in the deaths of millions, proving that when hate and pseudoscience mix, the results are catastrophic. In this day and age, this ideology remains toxic, cringe, and fortunately burning out faster than one can say Luftwaffe. It had been depicted in media, board games, video games, and much more. Nazism was like a scrawny kid who sucker punched a bigger kid and ran off thinking he'd won, only for the bigger kid to track him down and knock his teeth out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.